Morning everybody, um, it's Jane here, um, I'm Lady Patterdale. How is everybody today? Um, what I'm going to talk to you about um, is diet and health for your Patterdale. Now anyone that knows me will know that I am very very keen on my health and also I'm very keen um, on the health of my little Patterdale. Um, she's about nine and um, obviously she's starting to get into her sort of autumn years if you like and um, I still like to keep her very, very healthy. We go on a couple of walks a day, about 45 minutes each. Um, she gets a good old run around with a ball um, and she gets plenty of exercise. So we try and get two walks a day in. Um, question I get asked quite a lot is, what do you do about their diet um, in terms of how often do you feed them? What do you feed them? When do you feed them? If they're a puppy, how often should they be eating? Um, so I recommend if you've got a puppy, feed them um, four times a day. So really you should be looking at feeding them um, in the morning, mid-morning, sort of afternoon, late afternoon. And um, it's only because because they're a puppy, um, they can't, their stomachs can't digest too much food in one go. So if you were to get their daily portion of food, and give them little bits throughout the day. Little and often is better than all in one go. Um, yeah, so that's if you've got a puppy. If you've got an adult dog, um, so as your little puppy starts to progress through life, they get to about eight, between eight and 12 months old, um, you can drop the um, sort of times that you feed them down. So you can drop it down to say, twice a day, I feed Ruby twice a day, she gets a morning meal and an evening meal. Some people like to feed their dogs just once a day. Um, but what you've got to remember is every dog is different. So try not to be too prescriptive, you've just got to really sort of go with the flow um, and really sort of judge it by your own dog really. So if your dog um, starts to show signs of being overweight, obviously drop the food down. Um, don't forget to read the guidance on the side of the packaging. Um, and also another little tip when you're feeding your dog, um, put the dog, my, sorry, put the dog down, put the food down, that's what I meant to say, put the food down, let them eat the food and then pick the bowl up and then um, put the bowl down again when it's feeding time. Don't be tempted to leave the bowl down if there's still food left in it and let them graze. Um, that causes a couple of problems. First of all, you might get a little bit of resource guarding um, if there's still food left in the bowl. And also if they're grazing, you don't really know how much they've eaten throughout the day and what their kind of regular pattern is. So um, settle on a food that they like, pop it down, let them eat it and then take the bowl away and then do the whole process again when it's time for um, the next feeding time. Um, a lot of people get stuck on what sort of food to feed their Patterdale. Um, there's commercial dog food, all the tin stuff, um, there's raw food, and then there's homemade. And again, you've really got to go with whatever is your dog's favorite. Um, we feed ours Wainwrights, which is like a little tray of food. She gets half in the morning and then half in the evening, and she weighs about nine and a half kilos. Um, so again, every dog is different. You've really just got to go with what you consider to be is a healthy option for your dog. Keep an eye on its on its weight, um, a Patterdale should weigh between, well, it's quite a wide range actually, um, between six and 12 kilograms, again, depending on the dog. My little Ruby, as I say, weighs about nine and a half kilos. Um, keep an eye on their, their eyes, their fur, their coat. Um, you should be able to just sort of feel their ribs, but not see them. So make sure that they're not getting too overweight or skinny. Um, and as I say, don't be scared to weigh them. Um, we get on the scales with our dog and um, make sure that she's sort of weighed every month or so just to make sure that she's getting all the right nutrition and all the right exercise. But as I say, every dog is different. Um, a good website to go on if you wanted to check out your, um, your food, your dog's food, is um, www.allaboutdogfood.co.uk um, uh, um, and that will give you um, a rating of um, the quality of the food that they're eating and all sorts of other information on there. So if you are concerned about your dog's 
um, meals. That's the website to visit. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, please visit our website at ladypatterdale.co.uk um, for more information about tips, training um, and other guidance that you may wish to find out about your Patterdale. Hope you have a lovely day everybody and I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks very much.